he's not going to put no more on you than what you can handle where you are. But us that's teachers and stuff like that, when he has to lay the hammer down on us, he lays it down. Right. Make no mistake about that. So let's just take the word for what it's meant to be. It's instruction. Because if the most high didn't care, if we perish or um, have condemnation or something like that, then he could just not put nothing in there and let you say it all you want to and kill you. That's right. See? He didn't have to write no commandments. He could have just let you try to figure this out on your own. But he never does nothing without sending word through his prophets or warning. That's how he works. He always warns before destruction. So, with that being said, we'll um, get off into the word and we'll start with, uh, start with Hebrews 4 and 12. Hebrews, 4th chapter, 12th verse. And it reads, For the word of Elohim is quick, and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and ruach, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. You see that, brother? See, that's what the word, uh, that's what the word does. It, I mean, it cuts through the flesh right to the heart. You know I mean, it, it gets right to the mouth. I mean, that word goes to the core. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's only in there for your benefit and my benefit. It's not meant to hurt nobody. Really. You know, it's to help you. You know, so you'll be uh, in the kind of position you want to in when he returns. So you don't want nothing lacking when he shows up. And none of us know that day. You know, we may think it's three years from now, you know, 10. It could be next week. Even though there's a few prophecies that still be fulfilled, we're talking about the most high. He can make them all be fulfilled back to back in a week if he wants to. So we, that's why he said no man knows the day. See, we can't set no date on that. If he wanted all the remaining prophecy to be fulfilled, they can be fulfilled in the next 24 hours. We talking about the creator, okay? All right, go to, to the next verse. Right. Second Timothy, third chapter, 16th through the 17th verses. And it reads, all scripture is given by inspiration of Elohim and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of Elohim may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. See, I mean, it, it tells you itself what scripture is for. It is for. Doctrine, reproof, correction. You know, the most high corrects those whom he loves. If you're not being corrected, you, you might need to check up on your salvation. See where you are with the most high if he's not correcting you. Because if you're living a life and you ain't seeing he's not correcting you, that means he gave you a hope. <laughs> you know, to a reprobate mind. See? So. I don't like, you know, some of the correction, you know, is tough, but as long as he's still correcting me, I know I'm good. As long as he's still correcting, I'm good. And some of it's painful. Trust me. All right? Read the next one. Mark 6, chapter 11. Mark, the Gospel of Mark, the 6th chapter, the 11th verse. The Gospel of Mark, the 6th chapter, the 11th verse. 
and it reads, And whosoever shall not receive you, not hear you, when ye depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. See? Hallelujah. When we're trying to uh, share this word with people, and most of us got family members, you know, they just don't want no part of it right now. And we got friends. You know, but like the scriptures say, if they don't hear you, just let them alone. You know, shake the dust off the off your feet and you know, keep it moving. Because he says that that'll be a testimony against them. See, when they come in front of judgment, that's that's a testimony that they can't say nobody tried to tell. See, that's what that means. He said, let that be a testimony. Uh, you know, you can't get in front of my shelf. Well, I, I didn't know. Ain't nobody trying to tell me. Yeah. And you go playing up there. Oh, uh, yeah, what about the other? <laughs> what about Boston? Remember them? Yeah. See? So, yeah, we got, all of us got family members like that, you know. And, you know, I guess in the most size time, he'll call them when he get ready. Like he called us. So I shared with him. They don't want to accept it then, I'll just leave them alone. Exactly. I'm not going to beat them over the head with it. Right. I'll let the most I deal with it because he had to deal with us too. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? We live like we wanted to live until the most High called us. See, we didn't go to him on our own. He called you. If you hear him, he called you to him. Make no mistake about that. He called you to him. I remember before I started teaching, teaching a few years back, I had a whole bunch of Israelite friends. You know, we were all on the web together in these chat rooms. And I swore I wasn't going to ever teach. Elder, how come you don't teach? I mean, you know the word. I ain't teaching Jack. I know the word that's good enough for me. I ain't teaching nothing. Never tell the most high what you're going to do with his word. Right. Because two months later, I find myself on a YouTube channel. <laughs> and everybody reminded me of what I said. Right. Uh, Ellen, I thought you said you wasn't going to teach. Yeah, whatever. Y'all got jokes. <laughs> See, I told the most high. In other words, I'm telling the most high what I, I got his word. And I'm telling him, I ain't going to teach nobody. Yeah. And, and, and a lot of my friends, they tell you I said it. Many times, I'm not teaching nothing. I look around, I got a YouTube channel with over 200 videos on it. <laughs> so, I don't do that no more. I don't tell the most how what I ain't going to do. Whatever he say do, I'm going to do. I learned my lesson from that. Hallelujah. Okay. Now we, we need to know how we need to start denying ourselves of uh, these fleshly desires. And it, it comes in many forms. Um, read that next verse, uh, Matthew 16, 24. Uh, you got it, you read. Matthew 16, 24. Turn your attention to the Gospel of Matthew, 16th chapter, the 24th verse. And it reads, Then said Yahweh unto his disciples, If any man will come out to me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. Now, do you know what that means? Deny yourself? That means you... you Everything is, is put under subjection. You, 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 you deny your body any uh, fleshly desires. You, you have to drop it all off, you know, and follow him. You know, 
It's like that uh, rich man, you know, he, he wanted the problem. And asked him what he do. I said, all this stuff and come on. <laughs> he turned around and walked off. I, I can't do that. See, that's still a fleshly desire he hanging on to. See? And that's what's going to get a lot of us in trouble in these last days. This pandemic that's going on now is the most high way of separating the goats from the sheep. See, it's a separation going on, y'all don't even know. Yes, sir. See? Bring it out. He, he's separating from time. Wow. He, he ain't waiting till the rivers. He's separating them now. Right he's out. saying, who's going to believe his word or are you going to keep believing these folks on, so, on the media? Are yeah. You, are you going to make it? Yeah. So he's saying, who believe him? Who put their life, their health, their well-being in him? And not look the man for no solution. Yes, sir. That's going to kill you. See, he's separating people right now. Oh, okay. You believe man will go on over there and get you jail. Yeah. But when you get sick, don't call me. <laughs> See, that's backwards. Pray before you go get the shot that you don't go get it. <laughs> See, don't go get it. And then think you can go to the most high. Well, I got the shot for all of them. Please don't let it make me sick. That's backwards. That comes under the heading of tempting the most high. You don't want to do that. You do not put yourself in harm's way and then expect the most high to get you out of it. That's just like walking down the middle of I-20 and Father don't let me get hit by a car. I'm sorry, you want to get hit. That's tempting the most high. Do not put yourself in harm's way and expect the most high to bail you out. Now, if these folks grab you and throw you to the ground and force it on you, then the most high will step in. He'll make whatever they did to you null and void. Just don't volunteer. That's all I'm saying. Don't yeah. Okay. Now, when we try and do Get away from these fleshly desires and let me name some of them. Where is a bunch of them? Uh, porn movies. Uh, Bring it out. Uh, money, you know, uh, just all kind of weird things uh, are just, uh, concerning the flesh. You know, uh, trying to please the flesh by doing things to get self praise. See, that's flesh. You'd be surprised for the people who have gotten themselves in debt just to buy a new car and get one day of praise from the screen. Because that's already, they're not going to praise it every time they see it. You get your 15, 30 minutes of praise. Oh, man, that's nice. The next day, you just got a new car like everybody else. But now you stuck with a phone in your car, though, just to get that fleshly praise from people. That's what you're doing. That's why people do that. And then Elvin, if I can say it, it's, it's just like trying to keep up with the Joneses. That's it. <laughs> That's exactly it. You put yourself in financial ruin just to get praise or pat on the back from your peers. Oh, man, that's a nice car. But they've seen the kind you got before. They're just telling you it's nice. But the next week, they're not going to keep saying it. But you still stuck with that note, ain't you? You still stuck with the car note for that one time that they pat you on the back. Oh, man, that's good. Yeah, man. Let's see you pay off this $40,000. For one day of praise. Same thing with people ruining their marriage. For five minutes of prison, they'll throw a 30-year marriage down the two. Yes, sir. Five minutes of appeasing your face. Right. See? Good. Yeah. You go out there and meet up with some old girl 
somebody or someone with blood and fool with them, your spouse finds out, and you throw the 30 year that or marriage down the tubes, plus child support. Right. You know. Right. For flesh. For flesh and the desire. Excuse me, Elder, if I can say that, like the Bible says in Ecclesiastics, uh, one sin can destroy much good. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I don't know no true statement than that. You know, uh, it's just a lot of things. And family, you can break from these things. You know, people that are alcoholics, uh, addicted to drugs, you, you can work it. You know, you don't have to have that stuff to live. It's a crutch. Because the same problem you had before you did what you did, you're going to have it when you come back down. Yes, sir. And you do not want to be in an altered state of mind when Martial comes. Because he ain't going to pick you up. Bring it out. You're going to stay here to go through that tribulation until you regroup yourself. Right. See, you want to go through the rough stuff. All the rest of it, we out of here. Right. But you got, not saying you won't make it, but he's going to let you go through something. See? So it, it's dangerous. We were never meant to have our minds altered by anything, whether it be liquor, Drug, whatever. We, we wouldn't meant that. All have our DNA changed, which they trying to do. Bring it out. See, they got all kind of stuff that would make us break the most high law. They got aborted fetuses in it. Oh, bring it out, elder. See, they got DNA from bats and pigs in it. What did the most I say in the video? We don't even touch a pig. Unclean. Let alone eat them. Unclean. Unclean. And if we let them inject a body of penis in them, then we count them. Yes, sir. Bring it out. We count them. Make it plain, though. So you have to consider the cost of man's persecution of you for not doing it or the most high. That's fine. You know. I think I'm gonna go with the most happy. See, he can he can do this for real. See, I can pay for this in this life and the one to come too. Yes, sir. See, all they can do is do what they're gonna do to me here. You can't kill me but once. But most I just take you out completely. Spiritually and physically. So we uh got to learn how to be persistent when you're trying to get away from something. Uh, let's read that next verse. Luke, what's that, 18? Yes, sir. One through seven. Turn your attention to the Gospel of Luke. Turn your attention to the Gospel of Luke, the 18th chapter, the first through the seven verses. And it reads, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Second verse, saying, There was in a city a judge which feared not Elohim, neither regarded man. Third verse, and there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversary. Fourth verse, bless you. And he would not for a while. But afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not Elohim, nor regard man, fifth verse, yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her, lest by her continuing coming she weary me. Sixth verse. And the Most High said, Hear what the unjust judge said. Seventh verse. And shall not Elohim Avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. Question. See, he's giving you a parable of how you approach the Most High in difficult things to uh, deal with. 
Jacob was? Yes, sir. I mean, he wrestled with him and said, hey, I'm not turning you loose until you bless me. Yes, sir. See, we want to pray one time, and when we don't see it, you know, well, man, most I don't like me. You know, uh, you might have felt like there's some sin in your life why you didn't do it. Not necessarily. You know, because Job didn't sin. That's yet right. he had to go through all that, didn't he? Well, the most I had something to work on Job was. It, it wasn't that the most I ever doubted Job. He knew Job was upright. That's but right. Job had a little self-righteousness in him that the most I was working on, so he took that opportunity to let Satan bother him where he can work on Job's self-righteousness. Job had all that. I did this. I did that. I do this. I do that. And the most I sit there and listen to him for a whole two chapters. Then when the most I time, time to speak, he straightened Job up. You know. Yeah, you know he, he told Job, okay, answer me. See, Job was throwing up all his righteousness. See, and that's what the most I was working on with, with Job. And after he got Job straight, he blessed him with far more than he started out with. That's right. See, but he had to get, it wasn't Job was a sinner or nothing, but he just had this self-righteous about it. You know what I'm saying. When we know we hooked in with the father, we want to brag. That's yeah, right. Yeah, you know, shoot, man. I, I, I'm, I'm hooked in. <laughs> you know. And so that's what he's working on, you know. Humble yourself, Joe. That's what I want you to do. And the most I spent the next four chapters straightening Joe. Well, Joe had to listen to the all of that. You know, Joe tried to back out of it a couple of times. Most I wouldn't let him. That's why, uh, Joe, perhaps I overspoke. No, 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 no. Heard your lines up, Joe. <laughs> you going to hear this. I had to listen to you. You going to listen to me. See? So... It wasn't that uh, Job was unrighteous. I mean, you know, he just self-righteous in a way. You know, he he thought his works was just going to do it for him. Okay, so now let's go to uh, some scriptures here. Uh, go to that next page. Start with Ephesians 4. What's that, 21? Yes, sir. Turn your attention to Ephesians, the fourth chapter. Turn your attention to Ephesians, the fourth chapter, the 21st through the 22nd verses. And it reads, If so be that ye have heard him, and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Yahabashah, 22nd verse, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. Good one, Elder. Yeah. See, that, that's what we got to do. We got to put that old man on. Now, yeah, I, I know, family, in this climate, where, you know, with a lot of issues going on, a lot of problems, you know, that sometimes people are trying to drink or alcohol. Uh, but that's not going to solve your problem. I'm sorry. You know, I'm, I'm 74 years old. I never had a drink in my whole entire life. So they showed you you can do that. See, I've never had any form of drug. My whole entire life. Never. I don't even know what it feels like to be drunk or high. If I got high, I'd probably scare me to death. Because I wouldn't know what was happening. See? So it's, they tell me anything you wasn't born with, you can do that. <laughs> so, Say it again, Elder. Anything you wasn't born with, you can do that. Bring I've it seen up. plenty of, uh, of couples, relationships. Oh, I can't live without you. Y'all wasn't joined at the hip when you were born. And don't tell me you can't do without him. You may not want to, but you can. Bring it up. And you can do that. You can do without drinking. You can do without a whole bunch of things you think you can't. 
Wait till you get in a position where you can't get those things. You'll find just uh, how much you can do with that. Yeah. Wisdom, Elder. That's wisdom. You'll find that you can do it out with a whole lot of stuff you can think. And people. And people. <laughs> and people. <laughs> Toxic people. Especially people. Yeah. Oh, I can't live without you. <laughs> oh, what, really? Look. <laughs> look. I love my wife too. We've been together longer than y'all been living. But I'm not gonna sit up and say I can't live without her because I'm gonna have to. If she leaves for I do, I'm gonna have to. Or if I leave her for her, she's gonna have to be gone. You know? So uh that's that's why I always say if you ain't going with it, you can live without it. It's people born without eyesight and make it all the way through life with blind, like Stephen Wonder and Famous. Yes, sir. <laughs> Man can't see, but he's a millionaire. Gifted. See? Hey. Right. And the right songs. That's right. <laughs> I mean, he can't even see the 88 keys on the piano. Yeah. <laughs> but he can play them. Good, good one, Elder. What, what you wasn't born with, you can do with that. Yes, sir. I, I get tired of hearing people in a relationship. Oh, I can't live without you. Yes, you can. Yes, yes you can. They've been listening to a Key Sway song. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> whole bunch of stuff you can live without. See? Uh, so, <laughs> that, that's just it. Uh, Did we read Ephesians 4? Yes. yes, sir. Okay, go to Galatians. Turn your attention to Galatians, the fifth chapter, 16th through the 18th verse. And it reads, 16th verse, This I say then, walk in the Ruach, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. 17th verse, for the flesh lusts against the Ruach, and the Ruach against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Power verse, 18 verse. But if ye be led of the Ruach, ye are not under the law. See, family does As long as we and these meet too, they gonna want to see That's just it. You know, they're, they're contrary to each other. Your spirit man and your flesh man, they're contrary. One is always wanting to see See? And one is trying to resist, so they walk with each other every day. You just gotta learn how to be the one. You know, and overcome some of these desires uh, that you have. Uh, yeah. Did, did we read that 18 verse? But if you be led, yes, sir. Be, yeah. But if you be led of the ruach, ye are not under the law. See, this is where Christian pastors get those off. Yes, sir. Bring it out, elder. See, it said if you led of the spirit, you're not under the law. See. Big difference than what they say. Oh, the law go away with it. No, it ain't. Break it out, Elder. No, it ain't. You think the law go away with it, I tell you what, keep breaking it. <laughs> you find out. Yeah. Keep breaking it. <laughs> you find out it's not going away with it. That's See? Why else someone ever say to me, Pastor Gay, you see, I got grants, <laughs> I got permission to bend and get away with it. Yeah. And that's why there's so much. Uh, 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 adultery and uh, homosexuality going on in them churches because they teaching the congregation not to follow the law. That's right. Yeah. Listen, man. Mm -hmm. We're believing. We accept it, Marcia. We believe it. We try to pattern ourselves after it. And that being the case, no we are not under the law. In that instance, the law has no effect on believers who follow 
And you know, that, that, that's a scripture we need to keep in mind. Uh, where are we looking next? Turn your attention to Romans, the 8th chapter. Romans, the 8th chapter, the 6th verse. And it reads, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Or shalom. Now, when we say to be carnally minded is death, it doesn't always mean spirit or physical death. Spiritual death. That's what that means. Anytime that you are separated from the Most High, you're spiritually dead. See, that's what that means. And so, if, if you if you call it a minded thing, that means you are separated from the Most High. Because you have spiritual connection. That's right. They got separated. So, uh, that's what it means to be carnal and minded is death. Because anytime that you're separated from the most high, you are dead. Yes, sir. Spiritually. Bring it out. You're spiritually dead. And your body still might be walking around here. Walking dead. But just like Adam and Eve. What did he say? The day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. That's did right. they physically drop dead? No, sir. They Adam going to be 900 something years old after that. Yes, sir. But he was spiritually dead. He was separated from the Most High. Yeah. So he's spirit, which is worse. I think I'd rather have a spirit than the physical death than to be spiritually separated from the Most High. Yes, sir. Once we go to the grave, we done with these bodies anyway. We yes, never sir. use them again. Yes, sir. That's why he said, from dirt you came from and dirt you going back. Bring it out. When, 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 when you're resurrected, you won't have nothing to do with these bodies here. Absolutely nothing. They'll be to turn back to dust and everything else. You'll be raised up in a whole different uh, body. Yes. See, most I don't care nothing about this. It's flesh body, because it's sin. It's full of sin. That's all they know to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm telling this, this fights with you every single day. Yes, sir. I don't care how long you've been in the truth, uh, how spiritual you think you are, you walk with your flesh every day. You know, I've seen some of the best ones. You know, a sister passed by and she's real shaky. For just a second, he loses his mind. You know, and have to repent. Oh, man! Uh, Father. <laughs> you know, uh, you always go to war with this place. Right. You know, sister, don't, don't talk, did you? Y'all see these nice looking dudes out here, and y'all supposed to be in the truth? Right. Ooh, honey, look at that. Uh, uh, Father, I'm sorry. <laughs> see, we with this bitch. It, it always looks to do something. Always. <laughs> That's what it's about. Uh, go to the next one. James. James, the first chapter. James, the first chapter, the 14th through the 15th verses. And it reads, But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Fifteen verse. Then when lust had conceived, it bring forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bring forth death. Well, I mean, that's not what we got to remember. You know, when every man is tempted, when he's drawn away of his own lust and enticed, but then he said, when lust has conceived, it brings forth sin. And sin, when it's finished, brings forth death. Probably the spirit to the end of it. You know. So, you know, the Most High doesn't tempt us with evil. You know, he, he, he never does. Uh, when you, like the scripture said, when you're tempted, don't say you tempted of the most high. You know, no, you tempted by your own uh, looks and flesh. So this, this, this skin suit here is a problem. As long as we in them, we're going to have a problem. We're going to be sick. You know, we're going to uh, ache all the time. 
we, we just prone to run us in, unless you thoroughly, you know, in the world, then you, nah, that's not right. <clears throat> but don't think ever that because you're in this truth, you won't miss it. <laughs> so, you, you know, you, you miss the mark sometimes. Yeah. I know I've gotten angry and let my mouth get out of control. <laughs> you know, my, my mouth started working for my brain kicks in. <laughs> and I say some stuff I shouldn't say. And I've been doing this a while, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you can slip. Not intentionally. Now, we don't will for this thing. That's a whole different ball game. Yes, sir. Now, we don't will for this thing. <clears throat> but we do miss the mark sometimes. We should. You know. That's right. We just don't practice it. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Ephesians, the second chapter, <clears throat> the third verse. Ephesians, the second chapter, the third verse. And it reads, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. You know, it's, it's easy to uh, define the uh, the desires of the flesh is anything outside the most high. <laughs> you know, things that you uh, lust for, that you long for, that has nothing to do with your salvation. Most people uh, long for money. You know, money is not the cure all and everything. Yeah, it helps us, you know, we get our food. Pay our bills, whatever it is we need to do. But there are a lot of multi billionaires in this world, world who are totally neutral. We're happier than they are, and we both. See, it's a responsibility to come with having all that money. Now you got to worry about who's going to try to kill you to get it. You're a target. Yeah. Are your families a target? No peace and wear it all night. I wouldn't want to be a millionaire because now that place my wife is with. She can't even go out, scared somebody's going to kidnap her for ransom. See, a, 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 a price comes with being filled to rich. And I ain't seen no one of them buy way out the green like yet. I don't care how much money you put that. You can have the best doctors in the world. You're going to get big cases if you want to. When your time coming, that money ain't going to keep you here. I mean, people, for the love of money, people kill their own folks. Now, we're not prone to that too much, family, but we know there are a lot of other people here. They'll kill you for insurance money. Inheritance. Inheritance. See, your life means nothing. You got two, three million dollar insurance on you and they broke. <laughs> watch your back. It's all I can tell you, watch your back. See, uh, this place is something else, bro. Uh, go ahead and go to the next. Romans. The eighth chapter, the fifth through, no, excuse me, Romans, the seventh chapter, the 21st verse, and it reads, I find in a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. I mean, I mean we want to do what's right. You know, that, that's what our spirit wants to do. It wants to do right, but this flesh don't. This flesh just don't want to act right. You know, when you, like I say, when I would do good, then evil's with me. You know, a lot of us don't get up in the morning, especially if we're in the two. We don't get up in the morning with any intent. 
change in the thing. But we don't even need to. And that's all they know what to do. It's sin. So we have to get control of it. Okay, go to the next. Romans, the eighth <coughs> chapter, the fifth through the ninth verses. For they that are out of the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the Ruach, the things of the Ruach. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and shalom. Life and peace. Seventh verse. Because the carnal mind is enmity or hostile against Elohim. But it is not subject to the Torah of Elohim, mm -hmm. neither indeed can be. Mm -hmm. Eighth verse. So then they that are out that are in the flesh cannot please Elohim. Ninth verse. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Ruach. If so be that the Ruach of Elohim dwell in you. If so be that the Ruach of Elohim dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the Ruach of Hamashiach, he is none of his. Hmm. Well, you, you almost don't even have to say that. Self-explanatory. Oh, 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 Self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you're not in the flesh. I mean, you're in the spirit. We are spirit beings surrounded by sinful flesh. You know, the Most High cares about your spirit, man. He's not concerned with this, this place. It's going to be destroyed anyway. One way or the other, we're going to shed this. Flesh and blood cannot enter into the kingdom. You're not dragging this nowhere else but this earth. When they put you out there in that six feet, that's where you're going to be. You're not going to be raised up in the same corrupt earth. Nah. Nah. We're going to be raised up different. <clears throat> and those who are alive, when Marshall come, still in these meat suits, you, they'll be changed instantly. Before you can bat your eye like uh, I leave, you in another whole different body. Spiritually. So, you know what that the day in Christ run first. But them that are alive, it be changed instantly. So we gotta keep ourselves in position that if we are among the living when he comes, it will be changed. We don't wanna have no kind of draw, man. I, <clears throat> look, I'm not looking for no excuse to hand my job. Well, I would have. You know, no, 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 nothing. He's gonna tell you, man, with it, without excuse. You know, that's just the way it is. So we got to get ourselves together. You know, we got to stop this old fresh living. I know it's hard. You know, uh, being we in the flesh, but as you. Stay in this truth, it gets easier to deal with. See, I don't worry about going out here looking at it or not. That don't cross my mind. Now, like I say, sometimes we let our mouth run before our brain kicks in. And you say some stuff that you shouldn't have seen. But all we got to do is that night of repentance. Don't let it go unrepentant. You know, uh, but I'm, I got a little, little set to my application. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it wasn't intentional. You know, I just blew off the handle. You good. You know. So, we, we just got to get this place under control. Uh, what do you read Romans? What's that, 13, 14? Romans, the 13th chapter, 14th verse. But put ye on Yahweh Hamashiach, and make not provision 
for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. See what I'm saying? It's a good old Masha. It don't even make no provisions for no flesh. Well, you know, you don't own the flesh, man. Don't even make provisions for it. Quit trying to please it. Because you're not going to be able to. This is what Satan uses. He puts the desires of your flesh in front of you. See, that's how he operates. He uses the things just like he uh, tried to do uh, to Marcia. Tried to appeal to his flesh. Ah, uh, look here. If, if, if you do this here, I'll do this for you. See, he appeals to our flesh. See, Satan don't care nothing about your spirit. He's trying to appear in your flesh to get you to go against the most high. You know, get you to go in all kind of fleshly things or fleshly desires. Desire to be somebody with somebody of the same sex you are. See, stuff like that. See, any kind of way he can get you to sin against the Father, that's his job. And he's good at it. That's all we do is walk around. Yep. See who he can destroy. All right? Uh, go ahead and read the... First John. First John, second chapter. First John, second chapter, 16th verse. And it reads, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. What was I saying when we first started? The pride of life, you're going to get yourself in debt to buy a car where somebody can praise you <laughs> for that day, and you're stuck with a pillow in your nose. A lot of people buy new stuff just to impress people. To satisfy their flesh. See? Oh, I need some praise from somebody. Let me go buy a new car. You idiot. After they get through praising you, you got four years on that baby people. It ain't worth it to me. No. Tell you what. I got four kids, and I don't know what bad I'm going to leave them Ain't no repo man coming to my house. Mm -hmm. Ain't got no business showing up in my house. And every last one of them run just as good as a new. I see to that. Okay? Uh, we're ready with the next. First Corinthians, the ninth chapter, the 27th verse. First Corinthians, the ninth chapter, 27th verse. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Keep going, we're going to read uh, uh, Genesis. Genesis. Now, let, me, let me tell you about this. And this goes the same with alcohol, cocaine, heroin, anything. Yeah. Uh, cannabis. All this goes for that. Because people, the first thing they want to do, well, the most high painted this here. Yeah, he also painted poison ivy. You gonna smoke it? Huh? Go roll him some poison ivy here. Yes, sir. He put it there. Yes, sir. You know, we'll, we'll get you a pocket plant and shoot it in you. Now, those things weren't made to be consumed, man. No. No, 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 no. You do not want martial arts showing up with your head bad. You do not want that. He's coming to get his people, and you sitting up here hallucinating. Hey, <laughs> who's that? You know. No. You don't want to do that. And... Apparently, I know some things are hard to break, but we're going to tell you 
knew how to do. Mm-hmm. We're not just going to sit around and complain of you and say something without telling people what happened. All right, let's, let's read Genesis. Genesis, the first chapter. Genesis, the first chapter, the first book of the Bible. The 29th through the 30th verse. The 29th through the 30th verse. And it reads, And Elohim said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree, in the which is the fruit of a tree, Yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. Who's talking to the man? For meat. For meat. The 30th verse. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat. For what? Meat. <laughs> and it was so. Now, he did the same thing for animals as he did for men. Bring it up, y'all. I gave y'all the earth brown seed, see, before the fall, before Noah, the animals were co- weren't carnivorous. They were meat eaters. This is why he gave them the same diet as he did man. You know, I give y'all, you know, every fowl of that animal. Everything that creeps on the earth, I give it y'all stuff, but that's for y'all to eat too. Because they weren't carnivorous to it. They weren't meat eaters. Contrary to popular opinion, Sin. they were plant eaters too. Sin brought that into the world. The snakes start biting snakes and birds start biting birds. Uh, we, the most high, did not put meat in our, in our diet till after the flood. He allowed no to eat meat. Before then, no. We, 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 what do you call them? Vegetarians or vegan, which one? I don't know what it's <laughs> But, uh, no, they weren't carnivorous then. In other words, they weren't meat eating. But, I see when he put all these herbs and seed, I, it was for food. Let me see. I'm trying to find that when we supposed to smoke it. Yeah. Bring it out of the other, what you said? I'm well, well, looking for a verse, but you know all these people, oh, the most high put this here. Well, I'm, I'm trying to find the verse where he say smoke it at. I wait. He said for me. Well, yeah. No, I ain't I wait. Well, some of them make it out of cookies. <laughs> they have it with cookies. What's that for me? What's wrong with cars and all the things? He grew that too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Man, we're rolling that up. You eat your buds too. Uh oh. Real good. You're real good buds. to man, but he gave it to the animals. 
But there are some Hebrews going around saying that, that, that the herb, marijuana, helps you find the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. That, you understand? But, well, but it's actual that, that I'm glad the elder brought it out. He gave the herb for consumption. You can't eat smoke, but you can't eat he meat. Didn't, he didn't say smoke. Uh, but I'm confused, Carson. If the herb that helps you find the rub, I ain't never used it. And I'm good. Hallelujah. Bring it out. Yeah, I'm so, just saying, though. That's the new doctrine. Yeah. If that's the case, it should be a whole lot of land on hand. <laughs> right. I missed that book because I've never done it. You can't tell me I don't have no sense of love. Yes, sir. The herb is for me. <laughs> that's what it said. We must follow yeah. the scriptures. I tell you what. You try to tell me I don't have a long time to grow up. You might as well put your little dudes up and let's step outside. <laughs> We're going to correct that lie. I'll repent later. <laughs> I, do, I do not like nobody questioning my relationship with the Most High. That's all I'm yeah. That's between me and him. Don't question that. Okay? You get on the bad side of me right quick. You know, strong yeah, some 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 things are are pretty strong. So you also have to pass when you're trying to get away from something or a bad habit or even people that you around. Sometimes you just have to pray and pass through it. You know, or that's why he told him. He said, "Yeah, but these guys." You know, you have to pass, too. See, so that, that's how we have to do some of these things. You have to pray and pass on something that you're trying to give up. What you're doing is denying your past. You're yes, denying sir. yourself. See, and the flesh is really, I mean, we can please the flesh real easy, you know. But we got to get it under control. <clears throat> If we want to make it into the kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Let's read the next one. Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 through 11. Matthew 12, verse 1. Then Jesus and Matthew led up uh, the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Verse 2. And when he had, when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was after. Uh, a hunger. Verse 3. And when the tempter came to him and said, If thou be the Son of God, tell me, command that these stones be made bread. Now hold that right there for me. What was Mashiach doing before Satan tempted him? He was fasting. He was fasting. Denying the flesh. Yeah. See, he's getting himself already in position because Satan will come with all kinds of demons. See, and this is why sometimes we have to fast. You know, it, 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 a lot of times it don't take no three-day fast. Or you, you can fast a day for something that you're trying to shape. You know, you know what? I'm watching too much TV. I'm going to fast today from TV. Yes, sir. you just making your flesh obey you. You know, that your flesh, I'm running this. You yes, know, sir. you're not running nothing. You want to do like I say you do. Mind over matter. That's right. You, you, I'm controlling you, uh, body. You won't get to do this. You won't come on and shot. So that's what that is. You, you, you're you, bringing your flesh under submission. Okay? Can we? That's good. And when he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that the seed is out of the mouth of God. The mouth of the other Verse 5. Then the devil took him up into the holy city and set him on the on the pinnacle of the temple. Verse 6. And said it, and said, said it unto him, If thou be the son of Galilee, cast thyself down, for it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear unto up, 
these uh, these at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Now, you remember uh, when I said uh, certain things can be considered tempts in the most high? This is an example of it. See, here is uh, Satan. And Satan is actually quoting scripture to Mashiach. Yes, sir. He's quoting, what's that, Psalms 90? One. Yeah. He's, he's actually quoting scripture to out of all people, Mashiach. <laughs> you know, he is the word of the Mosiah. And he's trying to quote scripture to him. Yeah, well, you know, if you're the son of hell and he, you know, if you jump off this mountain, you know, the angels gonna bang you up. Well, that's in Psalms 91. Satan is quoting scripture to Marshall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ain't that something? And in real life, Satan will use scripture to trap you. Yeah. Yes, sir. You keep listening to the wrong preaching. In these Sunday churches, telling you you ain't gotta keep the law. Mm -hmm. Same thing. He switches scripture. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but that's what he was doing. You know, and, and what did Mashiach tell him? You shall not tempt heroin. <laughs> this is what I was saying. Don't go put yourself, Satan was trying to get him to put himself in harm's way and try to cause the most high to act. Don't work that way, man. Don't try. You'll be sorry. Do not tempt the most high. Do not intentionally put yourself in a bad spot. Don't do it. And that's what Satan was trying to get to Mash up. You jump off the building and then Mash up and then the angels are going to bail you up. And Mash up wasn't going for it. Ah, no, you don't tempt the most high. That's what tempting is. Putting yourself in harm's way and expecting the most high to get you out of it. That's tempting him and he ain't buying it. Excuse me, excuse me, Elder, but I can say that uh, no people, you hear people uh, mocking the Most High today uh, by saying, well, if you love me, Most High, get me out of this mess that that I put myself in. Yeah. You know, that's tempting the Most High. You know, when you if you know he's the Most High, then why are you tempting him or trying to give him an ultimatum that if you are the Most High, get me out of this situation? Uh, in, as in the Torah, they say putting the most high to the test. Yes, putting the most high to the test. Bad when, thing. when he already warned you not to get in that situation before yes. you got in that situation. Absolutely. Yes, sir. That's, that's what it is. The, 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 old, the Torah tells you that. Trying to put the most high to the test. Don't test him. You, ain't, you can't win it to start with. So why test him? He already proven that he loved us yeah. by telling us what would happen if we did, if we did it. You know, that's tough love. That's yes, sir. Tough love. He could have let us down with a fall to the wayside if we was Go ahead, please. Verse 7. Jesus and Mashiach said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And he's telling him, Don't tempt him. Don't throw yourself off of that mountain. And expect the most high to save you. Don't run out of here and get that jab in your arm and think the most high is supposed to save you. Don't do it. He's let all the scientists come forth from all races. Gentiles, Hamite, from all races, scientists and medical doctors I have all agreed this stuff will kill you. Yes, sir. What more do you need? So he's put the word out there for us. And so you won't be hard headed and keep listening to the meaning. Oh, black folks more likely to get it than anybody. Well, I can pull a CDC website up on your right now and show you. Our line is about this long, everybody else is without it. And they update it weekly. It's a lie. But who you gonna be? Man or the most high? See? And that separation you. He's sin. But really be him. You trust him. 
I didn't buy it from day one. I, I'll be straight up with you. The first day they come out with this man, I ain't bought it since. Me and Apostle kept coming right up here for Shabbat just like it didn't even happen. Yes, sir. Well, Apostle, we might go to jail. Well, all right, we going in. <laughs> you know, we didn't quit. No. If you ain't seen us now, then I ain't got no hands on What? I trust the most high. He already know how I'm going to leave. It was already the day I was born, he already knows the day of my death and how I'm going to leave. He ain't going to be by this trickery, this foolishness. I'll walk into a whole room full of this far I ain't worried about catching. I ain't going to catch nothing. You know, so who you going to trust? That's the bottom line. Who are you going to be? I think I'm going to stick with Moose. <clears throat> I mean, he didn't sustain me for 74 years. <laughs> Why would I start changing him down and there? Yes, sir. You know, I had plenty of opportunities to get in the grave well, especially when I was young. Oh, yeah. Hell, it was pretty rough. So, uh, you know. <laughs> We just, we, let's, we got to get this flesh under control. It ain't no such thing as I can. Yeah, you can. Everybody that, listen, everybody. I ain't talking about one or two. Everybody in this city that I grew up with, that I hung out with, did something. They either smoked weed, they either shot them, they had pills or syrup. All of them did something. And I was running with them. And not one time could they give me a do nothing. Not one. I broke them up all of them, they took me. They had their own bottle of Thunderbird. That's what they drank me. They kept trying to hand it to me. They know I don't drink. So I took it and then just opened my hand and let it hit the ground. And they mouth flew right over and I say, now I'm going to buy you nothing, but don't you ever hand me nothing like this again. They stopped that. <laughs> Try, kept trying to hand me a joint. No, I ain't going to smoke. I just took it and threw it on the ground and smudged it up with my foot. Say, man, I'm going to put it off the <laughs> See, I broke them up a minute. Yeah, get pissed off about that. Yeah, man. and they stopped doing it. <laughs> they stop doing it. I had enough bad habits. I wouldn't have been creating nothing. You know? So, no, I, I've never done that. To this day, I don't know how to build tables. You see what I did last week? <laughs> you know? So it's possible that you can live with that. You can. Just make it up your mind, you don't want it. Just that simple. Mind over matter. That's it. Sometimes things ain't that easy, but they can be done. It can be done. I'm living proof. Yeah. Here we. Girl, girl, had a rough past. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Look at him there. So, Some people still don't know this when they be doing like this when they see. Yeah, we 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 can shake off anything we want to the family. Yeah. All this. Drugs, alcohol, all this is a crutch and an excuse. That's all it is. It's a crutch and an excuse. Lying, stealing, all that. Look, I know some of y'all can testify to this. We grew, I grew up with guys who were very meek and mild mannered. Didn't even know how to talk to women. Practically almost scared of him until he got drunk. Yes, sir. When he got drunk, he put his hands all on him. And he wouldn't even, he was scared to even talk to women. But see, now he out of his mind. See, that, that's the problem. See, that it alters your psyche. Normally, human women like 
okay? They didn't get drunk. He go to some kind of building, some kind of metamorphosis or something. He changed into something else. Going around feeding on women and talking up under their clothes. He would never do that in his right mind when he said. I mean, he was too meek and actually scared to talk to women. But they were all men. They didn't get drunk.
You can go shoot a hair and anything you want to do. Whenever you come down off that high, guess what? That problem looking you right in the face. I ain't with no help. I'm still here. Right there. You better go get you some money. I'm still here. Still right there. Yeah. It don't change a thing. I'm still here, y'all. Ain't going to change nothing. It's a temporary illusion. You want to change, you better pray in advance. You know? It's just some things that are hard to do that you need to fast along with praying. And that's just the way they work. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that vaccine is uh, set up for, for people taking the mark of the beast. Well, it's, 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 it's a component of it. It leads you to that. Yeah. It's conditioning your mind to accept it. That's, that's what all this is about now. It's mind condition. See? And so... All that goes within controlling your spirit. Don't don't follow. Them. If you have to, quit looking at uh, mainstream media. Because some people can't handle looking at it. They scratch it out. Yeah, I have to look at it because I have to share with the you know brothers and sisters. Yes, sir. But I can handle it. Because I'm no good and well. Ain't nothing out there gonna hurt me. You know, I'm not worried about. It. That whatever name they want to stick on there, I'm not worried about it. So, yeah, I, I, I consume quite a bit of information all week. And I just sit there and watch. I'm not worried with these folks lying around there. <laughs> and that's all they do. You can't turn on your TV every day, all day, even the commercial. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. <laughs> See, they trying to control your mind. Yeah. Get you to where that's all you can think. Making you obedient. All they are is setting you up for the mark. Because if you do all this other stuff they say do, you're going to take the mark too. Yeah. Which is worship. That's what it's about, worship. You know, don't, don't, don't fall for the wrong you do. I tell you the best way to have the news media so you won't get caught up. And this is cool. Whatever they say, thank the opposite. Mm, yeah. It's just that simple. You want to know how to avoid them traps them? Whatever the news media say, take the opposite position. Mm -hmm. And you'll be safe. Because they lie every time they open their mouth. Like they say, the best way to tell if a politician is lying. It's he's talking. If he's got his mouth open talking, he's lying. So that's how you do that. But let's get this flesh under control, family. Uh, let's share everything that we shouldn't be doing in these bodies so that when Martial comes, he can look at you and say, well done. So you, you, if you want to hear those two words, you don't want to hear the other one. Depart from me. Right. I never knew you. Never knew you. See, I don't want to hear them. <laughs> Not them. I want to hear them two words. We are done. They're not the depart stuff now. I'm going to be totally upset. <laughs> okay. All right, family. That's uh, it for today. I hope we learned something today. That's applied to our life in, in this day and time. We're going to need it. We don't know when uh, my job's coming.